Good morning, everybody. So it's starting to sprinkle, but I we need to harvest some stuff from the garden today. So let's go right to the garden area, and then we'll go to the to the the greenhouse. We have a couple of tomatoes that are starting to turn color. There's one in there. I think I'm going to leave them until they go red, just so they're nice and ripe. There is. These tomatoes here are slowly starting to turn color. And same with these ones here. Hopefully within the next week or so I can harvest these. But today we need to harvest um, some kale, some uh, all of the leeks, and some of the carrots from the greenhouse. So let's start with the kale. So I am literally just gonna cut some of these off. Let them continue growing. We'll wash it all later once we get into the house. I'm just cutting some of the bigger ones. Okay, let's go do the leeks. Okay, so these are the leeks. They're a perfect time to harvest. We're also gonna harvest this uh, romaine lettuce too once we're done here, but let's do the leeks first. Okay. I'm gonna try and slowly try and get these out. I heard that maybe you should dig these out. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my little shovel. Okay, I got a shovel, put on some gloves. <laughs> it's starting to rain, so it is a little wet out here. This is stuff that needed to be done though. I had to get this done. I've been putting it off long enough. <laughs> wow, these have really big root systems. I didn't expect that. So we're gonna harvest all of them. Some of them are even a little bit big, I think, so we need to harvest these. They got like a garlicky onion smell to them. This one's huge. Look how big this one is, <laughs> it's huge. I just pulled up my flower. <laughs> Let's just plant that again. <laughs> yeah, these got like a real garlicky onion smell to them. to wash the lettuce <laughs> really really well I just got dirt all over it <laughs> the romaine lettuce that's right here yeah I just got dirt all over it I have to wash it anyways I think I'm gonna leave this one it still has room to grow okay let's go Actually, let's look in here, the zucchini plant, and see. Let's get dirt all over it, too. See if there's any more zucchinis to harvest. I harvested three out of here yesterday. As you can see, there's lots growing. <laughs> see if you can see that. There's lots of them coming in here. Our pollinating worked really well that we did in the previous video. Oh, there's another one over here growing. <laughs> okay, let's go do carrots in the greenhouse. Okay, so for the carrots, 
These ones here look like they're quite big, so let's check them. See how they're sticking out a lot? Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to take these out. Hopefully they're nice and big. Decent size. Not too bad. I probably could have left them in a little longer, but this is okay. Maybe the ones on the other side will leave a little longer. We'll check them in a minute here. As you can see, my peppers, my jalapenos, there's lots. I'm leaving them on to turn them. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry. All the jalapenos. I'm leaving them on to let them turn red for sriracha sauce. Okay, so this is on the other side now. And I think I'm going to pull this one just to see how big it is. And if it's smaller, we'll leave the rest for later. Yeah, I, th I still think it has room to grow, so I'm gonna leave the other ones, let them get a little longer. We'll just harvest this one. Everything we harvested today. So let's go take care of this in the house. Okay, so I'm going to wash all this produce. I'm gonna wash the excess dirt and stuff and trim off the roots and then we're gonna chop these up and then I'm gonna wash them again because sometimes they get dirt up inside the the stems. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I just need to get a colander. Okay, so let's wash off the excess off of these first. Probably could have done it with a garden hose but it was starting to rain outside so I didn't want to be out there too much too long. Okay, what did I do with my scissors? They're in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I'm going to chop them right to here because we only want the stock portion. Make it easier to deal with. And then we'll give them the second wash once we chop them up. I'm just taking the outside leaves off. I wish I had chickens to give all the scraps to. Maybe one day I'll get chickens. <laughs> I don't know though, because I'm kind of scared of chickens. <laughs> when I was growing up on a farm when I was younger, um, they, they, they would peck at me and I was quite scared of them. <laughs> so I would, usually, I would usually take a broom into the, into the chicken coop with me when I was collecting eggs so that um, they didn't come near me <laughs> so they couldn't peck me. I would just kind of go like this, shoo them away. Interesting from someone that grew up on a farm, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's wash some of the kale. 
I'm getting water everywhere. Let's rinse it. For the kale, we're just going to chop it up just like the last time I did, and we're going to use it for soup or stir fries. Okay, um, let's wash some of the lettuce that I got dirt all over. <laughs> that was completely my fault. I'm just going to take it apart here. Easier. Get all the dirt that's in between. Do the carrots. There's a few here. I'm pretty happy with my carrots this year so far. Um, I think I'm going to leave the rest of them in a little longer just so they get a little bigger. But uh, usually my carrots do not grow this big, so I'm actually quite happy with this. Now I'll put all this. I wish I even had a compost, but I don't. So it's all gonna go in the garbage. Okay, and now let's start preserving our garden harvest. I had to put my hair up a little bit more. It's a little bit muggy in here, even though it's raining outside. Okay, so we're gonna start with the carrots. I think because there's only a small amount here, uh, I'm just gonna grate this and use it for carrot cake. Carrot cake or carrot muffins or something like that. That would probably be the easiest. Just taking the ends off, they're a little green. And then I'm just going to grate them into one of these bags here, one of my reusable freezer bags. Ooh, that's quite green. I'm going to cut a little bit more of that off. That's better. Okay. All the scraps I'm going to use for stock. I have a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Okay, I wash them and put them back in the bag all the time just so I keep them organized. I think this should be big enough. So I'm just going to give these a rough grate here. Sometimes I like to use the fine grate, but I think I'm going to do the rough one. I like making carrot muffins and carrot cake. It's one of our favorites. So, good way to harvest a small amount of carrot, uh, good way to preserve a small amount of carrots here. Hopefully this will be enough for carrot cake. If not, I can add to it later when I when I uh, harvest some more of the carrots, especially since I'm going to put it in a reusable Ziploc, reusable freezer bag here. These smell really good. They smell very fresh. That's actually probably perfect for carrot cake. Looks like about a cup, cup and a half. That's pretty decent. I'm kind of happy with that. <laughs> okay, so let's just put it right in. Then I can just thaw this entire bag and use it for carrot cake. I could have also kept them and uh, just put them in the dinner like a stir fry or something, but I wanted to preserve some carrot from our garden. 
so we can enjoy it in the in the winter time too. Okay. Yeah, that's about a cup, cup and a half. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my cutting board in my hands and then we'll start on the rest here. Okay, so the lettuce, we've already washed. I put a pan out here with a um, uh, dish towel. <laughs> it, it was escaping me for a second there. I'm very distracted today. I have a lot of errands I have to do later today, so my mind keeps going over some of that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna lay them out, let them air dry a little bit. Like I said, I do have a salad spinner um, in my Amazon cart that I'm gonna purchase at some point here. Okay, and then once these are, are uh, dry enough, I'm just gonna stick them in a Ziploc and around some paper towel around it and put it in the fridge to eat for salad. Okay, so let's deal with the kale. This, all I am going to do is dice this into really small pieces. That's it. Uh, I'm going to use it for stir fry or soup. And it's going to go in the freezer for winter time. Kale freezes really well uh, from what I've experienced so far. So I have zero worries about freezing it. Every little bit helps, to be honest. So, okay, let's put it in this because I know we're going to get more so I can add to this bag. I think I might actually label this just because I have a lot of cabbage in my freezer as well. So I'll probably label this later with masking tape. Okay, now let's get to the leeks. So the leeks tend to have, can tend to have dirt all up inside. So we're just going to cut that off. Might need this little piece here. So if you look, there's layers. You see the dirt that's right here? Even though we already washed them really well, this is why you got to take it apart. So all I'm going to do is cut it in half, <clears throat> and then I'm going to dice them really, really thin, like slice them, and then we're going to put them back in the colander, and we're going to wash them again. That's literally all I'm going to do, and then uh, I'm going to dehydrate them. Um, I was trying to decide how I wanted to preserve the leeks, and I think... For me, and the amount of freezer space I have, um, I think dehydrating them is the best option for me. And especially since mostly I'm going to use this in soup and stir fry. Um, there's some other stuff too that you can use it in sauces and a whole bunch of stuff. But I think dehydrating them is probably going to be my best bet. So that's what I'm going to do. Just chop them up like that and then we're going to wash them again. Let's take this out. They have lots of little layers on the inside. I don't eat the leaves. Some people do. I just eat the stalk. My grandma used to make the most delicious leek potato soup ever. This kind of inspiring me a little bit to maybe tr make a leek potato soup. <laughs> I'll wait until it gets a little bit cooler in the fall here. Maybe that's what I'll make for dinner one day. Maybe we'll make it together. <laughs> potato soup is one of our family's favorites actually. We have a lot of favorites. <laughs> Do not want the leaves. Like I was saying in the garden, leeks tend to have 
a oniony scallion garlic flavor to them. They add a lot of dimension to dishes and I highly recommend growing them. They're very nutritious too. Good for you. <laughs> This one was the biggest one we got. It's huge. They say when you're harvesting leeks, anywhere from like half an inch, like this, to about two inches is when you harvest the leeks. From my research, that's what they say. <laughs> if you do it differently, leave it in the comments for me. I'd love to hear it. Um, let's see here. I also have three zucchinis in the fridge that we need to process. Um, I picked them yesterday, sorry, off camera. <laughs> they, were, they were getting to a size that I prefer. I don't like it when they get too big, otherwise they get lots of seeds. But um, I, <laughs> I have three of them in the fridge that we're going to grate up. I'm going to grate them and we're going to freeze them grated like we did the carrot for uh, breads and soup and stir fry and there's some other dishes I, I think I'm going to try it in. I was saying in previous videos how we're not huge fans of zucchini <laughs> but I don't mind it when it tastes really well. I actually went to my mother-in-law's for dinner the other day and she cooked or my sister-in-law actually cooked they live together um, cooked a zucchini hollowed out and then stuffed it with uh, filling on the inside it was really good so my eyes are still a little bit open for zucchini I haven't shut the door yet <laughs> I, I'm gonna try a bunch of different recipes I think I just didn't eat it enough growing up as a kid so I'm gonna give it a fair shot um, I also heard that white zucchini tastes a little bit more mild than the rest of them and is delicious. So I think I'm going to try and find a white zucchini to purchase and see if we like it. And if we do, I might try to grow some next year. But that's my plans anyways <laughs> for the zucchini. Okay, so I'm going to give this another rinse and then I'm going to put these in the dehydrator. I just took the kale and put it in a smaller bag. We're going to use this bigger bag for zucchini. So I have the leeks. They're, they're straining in the... I'm letting them a lot of the water drain off. These are the zucchinis that I picked yesterday. This one was getting a little big. I like them fairly small like this. They taste better in my opinion. <laughs> Look at all my cucumbers. I had... I had picked more cucumbers yesterday and at the end of yesterday I had 13 cucumbers. I gave half of them away to my mother-in-law because I'm like what am I going to do with all these cucumbers? So I think I'm going to make a cucumber salad sometime during the week here with all these. I like them fairly small like this. Um, this, is perp like, this is done purposely. I found that if you pick the cucumber when it's about this size it's crunchier and it tastes better and there's less seeds and if you pick them before they fully mature um, the plant doesn't think that it's done producing so it'll continue producing cucumbers <laughs> as you can see i have an over an abundance of them and there's more coming when we're out there preserving <sighs> there's so many cucumbers <laughs> so we're gonna make a salad with these ones not today in a different a different day maybe with like grilled chicken or something so for now we're going to preserve up these zucchinis and I think all I'm gonna do for all of them is I'm just gonna grate them I've already washed it all before I put it in the fridge so I'm just gonna cut the ends off and we are literally just gonna grate them take the seeds out if there's anything any in the big one here they're very very fine it's fine The 
end was a little soft. Let me see. We'll just cut it off. Hopefully this doesn't have any seeds in it. No, they were just starting to form. It's perfect, perfect size. Um, so as you've seen, we had quite a few zucchinis still coming <laughs> in the garden. Um, I'm going to grow a few of them. Um, I was talking with my mother-in-law yesterday and she really likes the baked zucchini the way she had made it the other day. And um, so I told her that I would grow some of them a little bigger for her so she can hollow them out and have them for that meal. Um, because I do have a lot of them coming and I know that <laughs> I still haven't perfected finding enough zucchini recipes that we love. So I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's grate some of this. I think we're just going to grate it all. Um, I still have some zucchini diced up in my freezer from last year, so for soup and stir fry. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to grate it all. And then I can use it for like zucchini bread, which I haven't made in a really long time. And we do love that. I have two different kinds of zucchini recipes. One's my grandmother's recipe. It's a zucchini loaf with chocolate chips in it, kind of similar to banana bread, but with chocolate chips and zucchini. And then the other is like a chocolate, like a chocolate muffin with uh, zucchini in it. It's really good. But I do think I am going to try and find a white zucchini, see if they taste any different or any different uh, zucchini recipes that I can try. Thank you, Sarah, for giving me the zucchini recipe. I think I might try that. You commented in my last video about the zucchini. <laughs> Okay, it's actually going faster than I expected. I could have done this with my food processor, but there's only a few of them here, so I'm just going to do it by hand. No point in dirtying the appliance for a few zucchinis. My sister-in-law was, uh, when they came to visit yesterday, we're talking about... Um, <laughs> what I could do with all the cucumbers. She's like, you should make kimchi. <laughs> and I was secretly laughing inside because we just finished canning kimchi for her for Christmas. So <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the surprise for her. Hopefully she doesn't see this video. <laughs> but I thought that was really funny. <laughs> She's like, you can make kimchi with it. <laughs> She's a huge kimchi lover. Okay. I'm going to get a chunk in there. I think I'm going to cut these in quarters. I think I harvested this one like perfect timing. It was just about to grow seeds. I know that I can just hollow the seeds out, but I prefer them. They, I prefer the taste of them when they're smaller. So there is going to be quite a few more canning videos coming up from me. Um, it is harvest season for the garden and for canning. Um, I think the next two canning videos I'm probably going to do for you guys is my mother-in-law just brought me a whole bunch of uh, rhubarb. <laughs> and she's like, do you know what to do with this? And I'm like, yes, I know exactly what to do with this. So we're going to make some strawberry rhubarb pie filling in an upcoming video. And um, maybe, maybe some peaches if I can find them on sale. I don't have, I think I have maybe one jar left from last year. So if I can find some at a decent price, we'll, we'll can peaches too. 
But as the garden progresses here and finishes out, I'm going to be making salsa and tomato sauce. And if there's enough leftover ketchup. <laughs> but if there isn't, then we'll save that for a different time. But those are, those are my plans. We'll see how much of them come to fruition. <laughs> a lot of zucchini it's like a perfect amount to make a couple uh, zucchini loaves okay I'm going to clean up a bit and then we'll get to dehydrating the leeks okay so let's let's do something with the lettuce first I'm just gonna put it all in here and dry it off a little bit more Wrap it in some paper towel here. It helps keep the lettuce a little bit more crisp. I need to get some vegetable bags, vegetable Ziplocs for the fridge so it keeps things crisper. There we go. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Try to take some more of the air out. I used to be able to buy vegetable bags. I just got to look for them again. Okay, so let's start with putting all of the leeks here that I've washed. They smell very oniony now that I've washed them. They smell very, very much like green onions. <laughs> and we're just going to dump them out and spread them out on the dehydrator here. And then I will just package these up in a jar and use them whenever I need them. I think I'm going to need another tray here. Okay, let me go get one more tray. Okay. I'm just going to spread them a little bit of them out here so they dehydrate a little nicer. They don't take so long. Put that one up on the machine there. it out and then I will probably put these on uh, 120 degrees probably for a few hours minimum a few hours usually sometimes overnight just depends on the vegetable um, and then I will jar them when they're done so everybody uh, that's it for today's garden harvest and how we preserved it and um, I hope you guys found this video useful if you did thumbs up me please. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.